This is the real Tom Rose. And the given question is an attempt to drown us with bureaucracy. We're told two potential sets, and we're told N is a member of both sets. So we should be able to calculate possible values of N. And just look for values which are in both lists. So is one third in both lists? No. One, no. Five halves? Yes. Seven, no. Eleven, yes. Two fifths, no. Two, no. Six, no. And nine thirteenths, no. So n is equal to five halves or eleven. Maybe equal is the wrong word there. Let's say n is in. So n is in that set. Now we can evaluate our rules. Is n an integer? Well, not necessarily, because it could be 5 halves. Um, 5n is an integer. Let's do 5n. Um, that would be ten, uh, 25 halves, or 55. Um, integer, not. So that doesn't work either. And th statement 3 says n equals 11. Well, that's possible, but not necessarily true. right? We have been asked which must be true. So none of those must be true, so the answer is A, none.